Thanks for joining us. This is our evening reception. Some of you were able to join in on that sessions tab and have some nice social interaction video chat with some of our old friends and colleagues that we've been missing. But now it is time to move on to our sea stories portion of the evening. And so the first video that I'd like to share with you is actually from Toby Sullivan with the Kodiak Maritime Museum, and he'll be sharing the first story of the evening. Hi, I'm Toby Sullivan and I have a story. I was fishing out west about 20, 25 years ago and I flew back through Anchorage on the way back to Kodiak. And I stopped at the bar in the Anchorage airport, I had a layover. And I went up to that bar to have a drink and it was a pretty quiet afternoon. There were a couple other people up there, a couple guys and, and uh, the bartender. And uh, everybody just minding their own business. And then the guy down at the end, he says to the guy that was sort of sitting between us, he goes, I, I see you have a watch there. It's a pretty nice watch. And this guy had some big watch on his wrist. And the guy with the watch said, yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's a pretty cool watch. And the other guy goes, well, if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get that watch? And he goes, well, it's kind of a weird story, but I was halibut fishing about five years ago down off the Alaska Peninsula. And um, we got this halibut came in over the rail and I was cleaning it out and I felt something in its stomach, something kind of hard. And I cut it open and this watch was in there. This watch was inside the halibut. And everybody in the bar looked at this guy. They said, that watch that's on your wrist, you found that in a halibut? He goes, yeah, but down, uh, down by a linchak, uh, we were... It's just the halibut and I could feel it in there. And I don't know how it got in there, but here it is. And he goes, it didn't work when I first pulled it out of the halibut, but I had brought it to a watchmaker and he, he fixed it up and it's a Rolex, pretty tough watch, pretty nice watch. And everybody in the bar was thinking about that. Like this guy is wearing a watch on his wrist that he found in a halibut that he, that they caught down on the South Peninsula. So we we're all thinking about that. I was just kind of looking at my beer thinking that that's the weirdest story I think I've ever heard. And the guy who had opened the conversation down at the end of the bar, he says, you know, I used to have a watch looked a lot, a lot like that. Uh, that's a Rolex, right? The guy goes, yeah, that's a Rolex. And he goes, yeah, I, I had a watch that really did look a lot like that. Could I just, uh, and he, the guy holds up the watch like this. He goes, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. And, uh, but I lost it. And the other guy with the watch says, well, where'd you lose it? And he goes, well, it's weird, but I was shrimp fishing uh, some years back down by where, uh, down by a linchak. And we were setting the, setting the toe and there was a snag in the cable. We we're putting the doors out and the cable, I reached down to do something. I should never have done it, but I reached down and there was a snag in the cable and it caught my watch and pulled it overboard and it went into the water and I've never seen it again. And the guy with the watch on his wrist said, said well, that's, that's pretty weird. You lost your watch shrimp fishing down by a linchak. He goes, yeah, yeah, I never, never seen it again. And the guy with the watch on his wrist said, well, how, you know, like what kind of a watch was it? Where, where'd you get it? And he, he said, well, I was in Vietnam 68. And uh, when I flew back through Hawaii, I was with some buddies that were in, in the same unit as me in Vietnam. And we all got these watches. We all bought these Rolexes and we had uh, inscriptions put on the back from them that had our names. and uh, The dates were in Vietnam, like 67, 68. And the guy with the watch said, well, that, that's pretty interesting. Uh, what's your name again, sir? And the guy says, oh, I'm, I'm Joe Smith. And and we're all just sort of listening to this story. And the guy with the watch on his wrist said, buddy, this is your watch. And he pulls it off. And on the back was this other guy's name. And it said, you know, South Vietnam, October 68 or October 67 to November 68 or whatever it said. And we all kind of went over there and looked at it. And uh, everybody in the bar was just stunned. And... Um, I think somebody bought a round for the bar and then I had to catch my airplane. I never seen those two guys again, but that's gotta be the weirdest fish story that I've ever heard. So that's, that's my story.
Toby, that's unbelievable. I I kept waiting to see if that's how that story was going to end, but I I in my mind I just no way, no way could that possibly happen that way. It's amazing. I I feel like Kodiak always shows us what a small world we really live in, but man, a, a lost watch caught in a halibut and two guys sitting at the same bar. I just unbelievable, amazing. So we have another story here for you, and we're going to go ahead and, and switch on to that one. So please enjoy. Evening, everybody. My name is Hannah Heinbuck. I live here in Kodiak, and I thought for sea stories this year, instead of telling a story, I would sing a couple of sea shanties. So these are a few of my favorites. This first one is called Fiddler's Green. It's an Irish fisherman's tune. <clears throat> One is called the Mingle Boat Song. It's my very favorite, and this is a, a Scottish tune. <clears throat> Sam. 
traveling homeward to Mendeley. One can we how many the men chase? What can we for when and weather? When we know that every inch is sailing homeward to Mendeley. Fish, everybody. Hannah, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful talent with us. I I love the sea songs. It just it's a beautiful way to close the week. I I couldn't say anything more to it. So the last thing that we have to share with you tonight is actually a slideshow of some really wonderful photos that have been submitted to us over the years. And we'd just like to share them with you and, and give you time to reminisce about some of those great times out on the sea and, and just share in camaraderie. So please enjoy. Thank you. 
That's a wrap for us. Thank you so much for joining us for Comfish Alaska 2020. We can't wait to see you live and in person in Kodiak, Alaska in 2022. Have a safe and wonderful new year.